All right, guys, so we're back here with the flat deck teardown. I took the bed plate off off camera just because I need, I really need my hands in to maneuver it with the breaker bar. But basically all you're gonna do, it's really self-explanatory. You're gonna take your, um, your seven eighths on your breaker bar here, flip it on its side. You can do it by yourself, no problem. Just flip it up on its side lean it up against your leg and then just press down on it and you'll you'll break all four loose no problem and then since the cylinders pistons head all that craps off flywheel engine's super light you can literally pick it up by the stud no problem so super light it's no big deal to do it like that like solo i'm usually working on all this by myself i really don't don't have too much help usually except on um like flywheels and stuff like that where like i i just really i literally just cannot do it by myself but most everything else you can get done on your own so yeah just flip it up on its side knock these loose the thing is is that i have these the Roz engine mounts on mine so they're that you saw in a lot of other videos so they're like the one piece style mount rather than the stock mounts, which I don't think I have any around here, but the stock mounts are just, they're soft and they're way more forgiving. Oh, here they are right here. This is a, a ripped one because they are a lot softer, but like this material, it absorbs a lot more of the vibration, whereas the one piece poly ones, tons of vibration. So all of my bed plate bolts were loose and one was actually completely out like you if you watched one of the other videos where i took it out one of them was completely out which was this one so if you have these ros poly mounts if you're gonna when you put this thing back together if you do end up going and buying those which they are good mounts and they are very durable compared to the stock ones but that comes with an added amount of vibration so what I'm going to do is instead of blue Loctite, I'm putting red on those and yeah, I'm probably just going to put red on the, the bed plate just to make sure those don't come loose again. Cause if I would, if I didn't need to rebuild this thing or freshen it up, basically this, this winter, I would have never known. And those would have definitely came loose and I would have had some, some serious problems this summer. So if you're going to go with the poly mounts, the one piece from Roz, I highly recommend that you red Loctite the base plate because you definitely do not want to lose those. So that's the base plate, pretty easy, especially when it's already all um, loosened up or um, when it's already light, the engine. You don't have the cylinders head, all that crap on it, so it's pretty easy. You can definitely get it done with a breaker bar by yourself. So now this is the, the part where, this is my least favorite part probably is taking these that's splitting these cases so what you're going to do is just kind of like lay this thing on its side don't be, like be super careful not to like crush this or anything like that definitely do not want to damage any of the stator so keep that off to the side don't step on it don't like lay the engine over on it you know just kind of be conscientious of where that thing is now i'm not going to do this on camera just because it's going to take probably forever because i didn't i haven't ever split these cases before but basically you can see I already used this on my red engine, but there's no real tabs on these where like the newer Yamaha Kawasaki, they have tabs where you can actually stick a flathead in and like pry on it. But this does not actually have tabs. So what you're gonna wanna do is basically just make sure that you take out these, this hardware here, here, and the hardware on the bottom i'm not going to do this on camera just because it's going to take a long time to do but i'm just going to go through this and just explain how to do it so what i would do first take all of these out just lay on its side and just break them all loose and then once you do that some weird stuff's leaking out of this thing must be a, some residual oil um so then once you do that, make sure that your two, your two uh, bolts here and your bolt here is out. 